years ago, I made this toboggan out of a plastic barrel and lumber. And as you can see, it's kind of getting old, getting beat up. I use this mainly to haul manure out of my lean tos in the wintertime. It's dirty, it's ugly, works great. But I want to go make a clean one, one that I can pull the kids around in, and I can use it for hay or wood or ice fishing or whatever else. So let's get out of this cold and get inside. All right. So to make one of these, you're going to need a plastic barrel using just standard 55 gallon drums. This is an old one I had, and I used it for uh, chicken water. I don't have chickens anymore, so I'm going to reuse this. Uh, I'm going to use 2x12s for the frame, and just a 2x4 to brace up where the rope's going to go. Normally I'd scrounge through my scrap pile and get some used lumber, but that's all frozen in the ice and snow. So I just went down and bought some new stuff. I probably should have scrounged up some old because the price of lumber is insane right now. But we got fresh lumber, we got our barrel. We just need a few basic hand tools, saws all cut it, circular saw, some screws. One thing you want to make sure you got is a, a good sturdy roll because you'll pull on these pretty hard. First thing we need to do is get this barrel cut. We're going to cut a band out of the center of that, about 30 inches wide. Then we're going to cut it down the end of it here, right down through here. We're going to fold that out. That's what's going to give us our sheet of plastic. And then that front will curl up around. We'll put a 2x4 in there to make the, make the brace for the rope. So we'll start by cutting this. So to get, to get a mark on a barrel, all I do is I just hold my tape like that so I get a consistent line here. Taper, maybe about 30. Uh, so we'll put a mark here at 30. And we'll do the same thing here. Just give ourselves a mark to go by.
vertical cut. And this we're just going to kind of estimate this. We'll square up our frame and we'll cut this to fit later. Set that aside, and we need to make our frame now. Make it the same size. That was four feet inside. We'll cut two four-foot pieces here. These are eight footers. Let us cut right now. Thirty inches wide, so we'll cut two thirty-inch end pieces. and it's really not that great anyway and for the brace behind the bolt we're going to cut another 30 inch 2x4 we don't want to pull uh, we're going to rip that in half half of a 2x4 is an inch and 3 quarters make a mark with a pencil there together with the three inch screws, two twenty five deck screws.
screws in here. We want to get this thing squared up. Just do a simple diagonal brace. this the top to curl more so we'll put that up front. Well, you see the rough edge, we're going to stick out enough so we can trim. Just kind of got to work it a little bit, kind of fight with it to get it on here. it in as you go here. A little hard to line up. This one seems to want to buckle a lot. Thank 
screws every every few inches. that side down. We'll come over here. I'll try to pull that a little bit. This will eventually all lay down flat once you start using it. Plastic does have a little memory to it but it will come out eventually. Forces.
take this out. And we'll drill some holes for this roll. Time to come in about, well, maybe three inches on each side. this you really don't need to worry. What we're gonna do is feed that through. everything together so these ends aren't getting caught in anything. Okay, so there's our rope attached. The sled's almost ready to go, but I'm really, I'm not happy with this big bubble in there. So I'm going to take a little time, I'm going to put some cross pieces in here and work that whole thing back. Then we'll go take it for a, a test run. All right, let's take this thing for a ride. 